A certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Yahshua said unto him, Why call, callest thou me good? None is good save one that is Elohim. He says, Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. Right? But you want to tell me we don't have to obey the command. All we got to do is just believe. Yahshua answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine but his that sent me. There you go. So the Messiah didn't come to create his own doctrine. Think not, pastor, that I am come to destroy the law. Now, if he said I didn't come to destroy the law, but he came to end the law, that's a contradiction, isn't it? Because to destroy something means to abolish it or put it away, right? Nobody got to follow that now because I fulfilled it. This is what the Christian belief is. Since he fulfilled it, you don't have to try to do it because all you got to do is believe in him because he fulfilled it. So in other words, what that saying is, that's saying that if what you believe is true, then the, you're saying that the Messiah ended the law. Verse 18, he says, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Now, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he, your pastor, your prophet, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them to the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. It's not my words. It's not uh, my Isha's words. This is the words of the most high son. But you want to say you don't have to be obedient to the Most High's law. And because we're trying to obey the Most High's law, we're in a cult. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my 57 going on 58 years of living. 